Well, they'll never spot us if we are dressed like this. <laughs> Why you guys are nice for naked clothes like those? Oh yeah. yeah it looks like a woman. I was hoping for another stuff. Oh fuck. This will have to do. You mean you I don't feel like cool with sandals and socks? Yeah. Who was the other volunteer? Seal? Hey. Cheese me. Seal? Seal. Yeah. You're easy. No. Right. He's the one with the turban. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Asian guy? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> we're not discriminating. Asian Taliban. We're Check the sign. We're, 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 we're branching out. Everybody uh, can please. be a terrorist. You're an Indonesian pilot. <laughs> uh, we have no equipment here, so let's head over to Boondock so we can listen in. Remember, we're gonna pull a firing line in this ISIL. standards. V-bed, vehicle-borne IED, is an IED that's basically in a vehicle. If you see a vehicle on the side of the road, or you see a truck, or you see a burnt-out vehicle, that's immediately suspect, and it needs to be swept, cleared, or cautiously bypassed. V-beds are some of the largest explosions I saw downrange, okay? The amount of shit you can pack to the back of a Volkswagen is unfucking believable okay? I mean, I've seen V-Beds that have had uh, rockets in the trunk, okay? Brad rockets in the trunk. That creates a fucking large explosion when it goes off. Now, luckily, we caught that one, and we had EOD destroy it, which was also fun to watch. Uh, wagon wheel. Wagon wheel is an American term when used in convoys, and it may be branch specific, specific I'm not sure, but I'm going to teach you what it is because we do do it in Arma. So as you're going to learn today, sometimes you lose a vehicle in your convoy. Sometimes the vehicle gets disabled, or sometimes some of your vehicles get blocked. What you need to do while you're traveling today, and the one thing I'm going to drill into your heads, is get out of the fucking kill zone. If you stop, you are dead. You may feel like initially it's wrong leaving people behind, but in reality you're helping them, and you're helping the entire convoy. If you, if the middle of the convoy gets hit, the front of the convoy needs to press on and get out of the kill zone. Then they're going to conduct what's called a wagon wheel. They're going to get to a safe position, re-marshal, come back fighting, instead of egressing, they're going to be ingressing with force to rescue the people they left in the kill zone. While in the kill zone, the people who could not get out of the kill zone, either because of disabled vehicles or blockage, are going to be dismounted and fighting. So that wagon wheel needs to happen about a minute or two after the initial contact, where you're going to have a lot of dead troopers back in the fucking kill zone, okay? But, but it's better than having the entire convoy in the kill zone. Now, who, who makes that decision? Who makes the decision to press on and leave people behind and do a wagon wheel? or whether to stay and fight if they think they have superior firepower. That's it's the a... convoy commander. No, no, no. Get, get rid of all the terminology you guys know. There is no platoon commander. They're usually the same person, but it's the convoy commander. Because in most convoys, you could have a platoon leader, and the company commander could just be attached to your platoon. He's actually the convoy commander, even though he's attached to your platoon. Okay? That shit happens a lot. 
Uh, they could be there to observe. They could be there to help lead an assault. So even though you're a platoon, a company commander could be attached to you in your convoy, and he's actually the convoy commander. So whoever is designated the convoy commander makes that decision. Um, another term, I, I, I don't want you to get confused, but there, this is a term that we use for two things in the military, and it's gas, gas, gas. Normally, as you're dismounted, when you hear gas, 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 what do you guys do? Get gas mount. Gas mask on, right? Mop level four. Put on your mop gear, right? In a convoy, it's different. Uh, when you hear somebody yell gas, 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 that means you better be having your fucking pedal to the metal and driving through that kill zone any way you can. Um, also, you can hear go, go, go. That's another common term. These are not official. These are common terms that we use downrange. Whenever you hear something repetitive this like that, it means it's urgent and just do it. So go, go, go or gas, gas, gas are things I want to hear you guys saying over the radio today, especially Icarus, who's going to be your convoy commander. <clears throat> Combat convoy, advanced guard. These are essentially two of the same things, so they have the same function, but different reasons for doing it. An advanced guard is a combat combat convoy that is only made up of gun trucks that goes ahead and does route sweeps uh, ahead of the main convoy, if there is going to be a main convoy. A combat convoy, just in its basic form, is just gun trucks. That's actually the one we use most in armor. If you look at most of the missions we play when we have vehicles, you guys need to start thinking that every time you have vehicles in the primary server, that's a convoy. You need to start thinking like that. It may not be a logistical convoy where you're transporting shit in the traditional sense, but it is a convoy. The vehicle mechanics, the vehicle tactics are the same, okay? Logistic convoy. That's a convoy where you could be transporting stuff or you have unarmed vehicles. This also happens in Arma. There's a lot of vehicle. There's a lot of missions where you'll have one or two strikers, or a Bradley, or some Humvees, and then you have two deuce and a half full of soldiers. Right? Is that a combat convoy or a logistic convoy? Uh, combat. No, it's a logistic convoy. Can them M2s defend themselves? So the tactics have to change to account for the uh, M32s, the M35s. The M35s can't defend themselves, right? So those deuce and a half can't defend themselves. So therefore, you need to treat them differently. You need to treat them differently in the order of march, and you need to treat them differently when they get fired on, okay? Because they can't defend themselves. Does everybody understand that? Yep. Maybe. All right. So don't think logistics has always transporting supplies or prisoners or whatever. Transporting people is an asset. It is a logistical supply, okay? You're transporting troops from one position to the other. All right. Um, vehicle weapon employment is something I'm going to talk about, and very briefly. Today we're going to be dealing with the Mark 19 and the M2 for the most part. You may have other vehicles like tanks and stuff. Tanks can be part of a convoy too. I'm not going to get that detail. So most of the time on the server we have Mark 19s, M2s, or some other form of those two weapons. You need to understand what those two weapons are. The M2 gun is a fucking direct fire weapon, okay? That means it is not meant to hit defilades. It is meant to fire just like your rifle, just a bigger round and higher velocity and a lot more power. The Mark 19 automatic grenade launcher is an indirect weapon. And what that means is it's for hitting dead space, which could be soldiers in a trench, soldiers behind cover. It fires at more of a higher arc, so you can bury and pound those defilades, okay? You can't do that with an M2 because the trajectory is too direct. That's the difference between the two weapons. Anybody got any questions, questions about, about M2? Who's hot? Who's hot? Aqua. Stop on my Um Does anybody have any questions about fucking uh, indirect and direct weapons? That, that's very basic. That's another class. That's heavy weapons school that we have here. I'm not going to get into that. But does everybody understand the basic vehicle mounted weapons, M2 and Mark 19? Yep. All right, good. Yep. Sectors of fire of watch. The lead vehicle always faces forward. The lead vehicle, whoever it is, always faces forward, okay? Uh, the next vehicle, up to the convoy mm -hmm. commander, can either face left or right, and then it alternates down the line. The, the rear vehicle needs to face rear, okay? If you watch the videos I put in the uh, waiting the lobby today, 
you can see one of those uh, type scenarios, one of those uh, perspectives was from a vehicle in the rear, okay? Uh, so I'm not going to go too much in the sectors of fire because it's pretty much the same thing as if you were in a column on foot. You just need to make sure you're covering all your sectors of fire, okay? Marshal and forces. This is where I'm going to uh, get into drawing on the map. Because I want to explain this quickly. And then we're going to actually go outside and do it. So, does everybody have a map? Yep. All right, everybody, everybody go to your map. I'm going to start drawing on the airfield. The first one I'm going to put on there is a logistics convoy. Fuck the SVDs. Bro, oh, it's another in here. SVDs. Yeah, these are actually going to be Western have weapons. This is all, all Western. Uh, I get the food. Okay, see, also I got the RPG and I got the. Primary charge for a group of sections. I got six magazines, six magazines one satchel, four secret. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Got you. Jim was here. No, I'm I, not. I'm still loading I'm in. Oh, that's why it wouldn't let me. Hang on, just uh, I went out and redid my mod, but I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. And you get the idea. The ratio is about two to three. Two gun trucks for three non combative vehicles. And the important things like the ambulance and command and control need to go in the middle, okay? 
and the two I see is in the front of the convoy. Anybody have any questions on that? No. All right. So, how I make this a combat convoy? I just remove the bullshit fucking deuce and a half. Now, now this could be. You could do combat convoys for lots of reasons. You could be going to sweep a town. You could be doing a route sweep. You could be doing an advance to contact. There's a million different reasons you could be on a combat convoy. The tactics change a little bit, which we'll get into, but the tactics change a little bit because you don't have to be so worrisome now on the, uh, with the logistic vehicles of getting them out of the kill zone and getting them safely to their destination. These will most likely all be hardened vehicles, Humvees, that you can fight through. So it changes your tactics a little bit, and we'll get that into that later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spawn you guys some vehicles. Icarus, I want you, it's going to be a logistic convoy. I want you to um, take your team, and I want you to marshal the vehicles, okay? It's, uh, let me see the numbers here. It's going to be two people per vehicle, okay? Copy that. All right, give me a second, let me spawn them. Should we line up in two rows? Designate your squad leaders. All right. Um, two IC as well. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, zoom more here. My two IC. Um, I look for everyone. Well, I know. I can be a squad leader. Do you? Oh, do. Um, all right. Your uh, first squad lead. Uh, Toad Ball, your second squad lead. Yeah, dude. Hmm? Well, yeah. Um, and you are probably not going to use your squad leads as much. Okay, dude. Just have them there. You're green team. Yeah. Taco's blue team. Do you yeah, green team? All right. Yeah, Zoom or just split into two fire teams. Roger, I can pick two man teams so that you can break that. Oh, yeah, two man teams, teams works as well because everyone's going to be in. You're going to have two men to a vehicle. Yeah, so two um, man teams. Fuck the wob. Yeah. Icarus just told me I'm the squad leader, right? Alright, alright, yeah. You can, you can make me ready if you want to or something. Alright. Um... Wait, where is... Duke, Duke, um, yep. you're this squad's leader. <laughs> where I oh, am. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Toad Ball is the squad leader for this one. Yeah, Bob, so you can forget about my color. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, this is really confusing. Uh, All right, Icarus, do you have your team leaders? Uh, I have my squad leaders. All right, bring it in, guys. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a knee around me. All right. All right, bring it in. Out there, I have a logistical convoy unmarshaled for you, okay? What I want to see, Icarus, and you may only have one guy per vehicle, you may have two guys per vehicle, I don't care, just make it work. I want to see this logistics convoy marshaled. I want to see what vehicle you think you need to go in, and what location you think you need to go in as the convoy commander, and then I want you to marshal the rest of the convoy. Um, Copy that. Before we go in, I forgot to lecture about one thing, and that's cross-load and ammo. So if you play a mission on the primary server, and you have a box of, let's say, 10 javelins, 22 medical supplies, whatever the fuck it is, don't put it all in one vehicle like a dumbass. Cross-load your ammo across multiple vehicles, so if that vehicle gets hit, you don't fucking lose your entire cache of weapons in one vehicle. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. All right. Um, as you guys marshal, we'll start to go over formations. So, Icarus, take the team out there and marshal me that logistics convoy. Copy that. I'll be communicating over uh, short range. I'll marshal my vehicle. Everyone else forms up around me. I'll give orders. Toad Ball, I'm going to be your battle buddy. Other people can use a cell phone to blow up your explosive as well. Yes, anyone can use a cell phone to blow up an ID. <laughs> if they have the phone. Hello, boo. Which means if you plant an IED and someone else needs to set it off, go ahead and give them a cell phone code. Yeah, that's oh, awesome. That is awesome. We need more of that in search oh, mission. This is school. Radio check short range over. Good. Checking. Jump. Oh, Where are the blood cell phones? Oh, there they are. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. We can call each other. 
Nice. Got others in the gear. Oh. Uh, no, the crate isn't big enough. Oh. Oh. I would grab a gas mask. Where Just are they? I'm looking for them. Gear. Ah, they were oh. in the med medical. Where am I saw them? Gear explosion. Tuffle, you're just a hipster. Even your little mask has holes. <laughs> oh, we've got some M4 slams. Jeez. Yeah, I know Tassel's. Uh, I know Tassel recorded as he records everything. Can you also try and uh, have him get some screen grabs or somebody on? Tiger team, get some screen grabs. Right behind. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I see you spawn yeah. yourself a rover. <laughs> Alright, Andre, um, back it up a little bit so you can get your formation. Now you see what he's already doing wrong? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Not going well. Yeah. Well, I, th I, think, I think he has a C2 vehicle. Has that deuce in hand, it really should be the utility. Uh, somebody pointed that out to him. He started with the deuce and a half, but somebody pointed it out to him, and now it's. But he really shouldn't just started with the first vehicle. He's trying to you get everybody you? to drive behind him and in front of him, and all of a yeah. sudden he needs to just start from the front and line him up. Yep. Icarus has some issues with okay. control. Well, that's why. That's why I'm glad right, he stopped up behind, there. Yeah, get no, behind so me. Uh, Alright, Icarus! Yeah. Let me give you a snap. Yes. Let me give you a snap. You always marshal from the front to the back, okay? So get your lead vehicle and have everybody in full right. behind them. The back sounds good. I have my lead vehicle. Okay, now start following them in behind them. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, where's your C2 vehicle? C2 vehicle is this Humvee right here. This Humvee right here? Okay, yes. what's gonna be behind that? EMT, two M2, and then the two M2s. Okay. And then another, um, the last of the logistics vehicle, and then another M2. Okay. Pictures. Lost. Yeah, what? No, no, I already have two IC. Alright, lost. Yeah, get behind the C2 vehicle. Last two M2s, back up a little bit to the ambulance space. Zoom works the two IC, so he should be able to help keep shit under wraps. Yeah, ropes. hey, I gotta yeah. go, I gotta go set something up real quick. Right yeah, now. go ahead. Who is this? What vehicle? The EMT is behind the C2 vehicle, that is correct. Shield, Jimbo. Where are the um, you got about uh, they're in the hangar. Um, I tell you, back up. My bad, forgot to tell you. Right, to, uh, yeah, front yeah, front yeah. Front. yeah.
into an Ivy League and I've got a sales team, so I don't know if it's easy to see Yeah, They were trying to kill them there. Oh, fuck that. I've seen the yeah. videos of the people getting their heads chopped off, man. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Trouble is, all it takes, takes is a few. Yeah, Facing rear, and you should win his head. Harsh. If you see stuff like that, you know, just yell at them. Alright, bring it in around me! Then it's probably worth bringing up. Logistics convoy. There's a thousand ways to skin this fucking cat, okay? It's, it, it can look differently every time you do it. It depends what the mission maker gives you. I'm gonna have you in for most of the day logistic convoys because it's what we do rarely and I want to drill it into your head. Combat convoys are easy as shit because you're basically gonna do the same thing um, <clears throat> without the deuce and a half. And you can be a little bit more ballsy. You don't have to be as cautious. So today we're going to play with logistic convoys, and pretty much the tactics are the same. And you'll you'll see what I mean as we get more into it. All right, hey Chris. Yeah. Right. Does does every vehicle have at least a driver? That is correct. Okay. What you guys are going to do is you're going to marshal your uh, uh, convoy. And you're going to drive in circles down the taxiway, onto the active runway, and then all the way down to the ATC and back where you are right now. Okay, does everybody get that? Yeah. You're going to make a big circle. Yeah. I'm, I, there, it's going to be a scenario. I want to see how you react, and I'm going to tell you what you should have done differently. Yeah. Remember the three things I told you. Upon initial contact, convoy commander has to make a decision. Whether he has to stop and we're going to dismount and fight, press on and go through the ambush or wagon wheel and come back and get everybody else. There's a lot of decisions that have to be made. Hey, can I ask a question? Yeah. If the middle vehicle's attacked, it goes down, vehicles behind it, should it try to go around? Or... Yes. Okay. Everybody, do, remember, remember what I said. Fuck formations. When it comes to convoys, fuck formations. If you're the last vehicle and the front of the convoy got hit, and you 